Hey family, it's Danielle and today I am going to do a review over this diaper bag. I received this diaper bag from my mother-in-law. She purchased it off of one of those Instagram ads. You guys have probably seen this diaper bag pop up on your feed if you have been Googling diaper bags or have a baby or expecting a baby. It is the diaper bag that has the baby sleeper attached to it. So that's this diaper bag. And we're gonna do a review over it and tell you guys what I've been thinking about it and all of that good stuff. So if you're interested in diaper bags or this particular diaper bag then stick around for the video the snob life the homeschooling life the bond life the non-traditional life the family life telling it how it is life outside the box and if you don't know what that means it's the non-traditional mommy but before we dive into this diaper bag if you're new here Hi, welcome. My name is Danielle and I am the non-traditional mommy. And on this channel, we do reviews. We talk about parenting, homeschooling, marriage, and anything else related to life. So if any of that is of interest to you, I would love for you to join my family and hit the subscribe button to the rest of my non-traditional family. You guys are the MVPs and I love you bunches. Mwah. Now, Let's talk about this diaper bag. So you guys, this diaper bag has zero branding on it. I don't even know what they call it or what the name of it is or who manufactured it or any of that because there is zero branding on this diaper bag. We did try to go back into Instagram and try to find the particular ad and could not find it. I will keep searching for you guys and if I find it, I will definitely have it linked below for you. But I will have diaper bags very similar to this one link below as well so just going into the specifications of this diaper bag this one is black with tan lining and gold hardware it is like a kind of denim feel type of material very durable wipeable easy to keep clean this isn't the kind of diaper bag that you would throw in the washer though I wouldn't recommend that but you definitely can wipe this material very easily I recently took it to the beach you may have already seen that vlog if not it's coming up soon but it had sand and everything all over it and I just dust it off and you guys can see it still looks pretty good. So the material is very durable. As far as the outside layout and structure, it has a pocket on the front, it has a pocket on the sides, and then it has a zip, poc uh, zip pocket on the very back here. This is a backpack style diaper bag. You can't carry it any other kind of way except for, you know, grabbing it by the handles. It has this nice little strap here where you can strap the two uh, straps together and make it easier to just grab and go and then give you a little more security. And so that is the structure of the outside of the diaper bag. The outside pocket has a double zip. And again, that's in the gold hardware. We just zip that open. And as you can see, uh, it has three pockets here on the front. Let me get that open some more. So as you can see, it has three pockets on the front. These are bottle pockets and they are insulated. If you can see there, so these are all insulated pockets. And then it just has a big opening here. I have been using this particular pocket as my mommy pocket because I don't bottle feed. Um, I breastfeed primarily, so I've been using this as my mommy pocket. On this side pocket, you have your diaper bag, your diaper wipe pocket, so it has the slit for your wipes, and then you just uh, stuff them down in there. As you can see, it has this elastic band here to give it a little more stretch, so you can get a nice size uh, pack of baby wipes in that pocket. The other side is just a standard pocket. It's not insulated or anything in there, but it also has the elastic on it, so you could put like your water bottle or other things down in this pocket. The back zipper pocket here goes all the way across the bag. It's not just one of those pockets that stops here that's just big enough for your cell phone. It actually goes all the way across 
across. I'm gonna stick my hand in there so you guys can see all the way across. So you can stuff quite a few things in there, your phone, your wallet, a few other things. If you're traveling, you can keep your wallet, your passport, your document papers, all in that pocket. And then it'll be nice and secure on your back. It also comes with stroller straps. I still have those attached and that's just in the tan color. So you do get stroller straps with it as well. The back has this nice plush. I see the holes in here to get air through and circulation. So these are nice and plush on your back, which makes this diaper bag super, super comfortable. Like this diaper bag is by far the most comfortable diaper bag I currently have. If you see the straps have like a curve here, which makes them nice on your back, the way they curve on your arms. They are super plush. See if I can get that to focus. If you, you can see kind of here how thick that strap is. They did not cut corners in this strap. And again, the straps have the air flow holes as well to keep you nice and cool when you're carrying this diaper bag. So that is the layout of the outside of the bag. Now moving into the inside of the bag, again, you have two pulls here. So a zip on each side, which is always a nice feature. So you just zip it open and it opens like this. Now the mouth on this is not very wide. It doesn't open you know, really wide. That's pretty wide as you can see, but I was expecting it to kind of open a little bit wider and maybe stay open, but it kind of wants to fold back closed. So that can kind of be annoying, but we'll get into that in just a second. So you guys look how deep this bag is. It is just never ending. I have a mask down in there for my little one, but look how deep that is. So talking about the structure of the inside, it has one zip pocket at the top, and then it has a zipper pocket all the way at the bottom. If you guys see this white part right here, that is a zipper pocket as well. I actually have not used that pocket because it's so far down, but it does have that option as well. And then on the front, it has two pockets, one here and one here, and those are both the same size. And then it has a pocket on each side. So you have a total of four pockets and two zippers on the inside. And that's it, very simple and basic, not a whole lot of bells and whistles with this bag, which is nice. Now let's open up the back. The main feature, the reason you are here, so the back of the bag has this black zipper, as you can see, and it's just one zipper. It starts right there. And what you do is you just unzip it all the way around, all the way around. The zippers on this bag are so smooth and so buttery, which I was really, really shocked about how smooth the zippers are. It's just very nice quality. So once you pull that open, I'm gonna move the bed out the way. You just stretch it out. It has these little metal rods that are magnetic and they just clip into place. Put your bed in there and voila, you have a full baby bed. On the go, wherever you are, at the park, anything like that, you have a full baby bed. Now, just talking about the structure of this, you have these little metal rods. And again, these just are magnetic rods and they snap into place. And then you have the net in here that you can see your baby. It has airflow through. So it's gonna be very comfortable for the baby in the summer months. And then you have this little bedding. It's not super thick, you guys. I mean, it's just enough um, to keep the baby comfortable if they are on the ground at the park or somewhere like that. They're not laying directly on the ground. So it's just, it's about the thickness of maybe a blanket. And so you have that. And again, it has the mesh airflow hose as well. And that just lays in there. And then you have the head and the foot, which is the basically the um, backpack split in half. And that's it. That is the structure of the bed. So very, very nice and convenient. To fold it up, you just remove the little bed. 
And then you have the, again, the rods are magnetic. So you're just gonna pull those rods apart so that they fold up. Once they fold up, you're gonna wanna crisscross them over. Find your zipper. So you kind of have to make sure it's all tucked in and then fold it up. Then find your zipper. Zip around and then just stuff, take your bed, stuff that back in there. That just stuffs in and zip it around. All right, there you go. <laughs> so let's talk about the ease of use for this bed and functionality. So as you guys can see, and we'll talk about the cons when it comes to ease of use first, the bed, it's like, it's a great feature and I love it and I've used it so far. When, we, when I first got the bag, I was thinking, oh man, I'm not gonna get to use it because you know, Corona and we're not going anywhere. But like I said, we found like a little hidden beach by our house and we went and we took the baby, of course, and this bag and having this bag meant we didn't have to take our stroller. So I was able to carry the baby, put this bag on my back and hands free. We went down there and the baby still has somewhere to lay when he was tired or was ready to take a nap. So rather than having to have the stroller or the car seat or something like that to have the baby lay in, we had this nice bed that was attached to my diaper bag, which of course you're gonna have your diaper bag with you anyway. So that alone makes you feel like this is easy to use because it has everything that I need. However, folding up that bed, you guys, as you saw, is a pain in the butt. I don't know if all of the designs, because I found I found several different diaper bags like this one from different companies and manufacturers. So I don't know if they're all gonna be that difficult to fold up. But as a mom with multiple kids, or even if this is your first child, you want something that's gonna be quick and easy to go. So when you're ready to go and you're packing up and the baby is fussing and you're just trying to get out of the park or get out of the beach or whatever, you do not have time to be trying to remember, oh, crisscross this way and fold and, and, and push it down. And you just want to be able to push it up, zip it up, put it on your back and go. And this does not do that. Like your brain has to be like, oh yeah, that's right. Fold it this way and that way. Now, maybe it will become second nature to me as I use it more and more. Like I said, we haven't been going anywhere where I necessarily needed to use that part of the bag. So I will say I have not had to use it that much. So maybe as time goes, you, you know, it becomes muscle memory, but from first impression, that part is definitely a con for ease of use of the bag. So as far as everything else, pockets, all of that stuff, I love this mommy pocket as I've been using it, this big pocket on the front. I can fit pretty much everything that I need in this bag, all of my essentials, my wallet, my phone, my keys, sanitizer, mask, anything that I'm gonna be reaching for consistently can all go into this pocket. The upper zip pocket, I would love for this to be a little more um, giving a little more you know where opened up a little wider but these pockets on the top make it nice you know to be able to just reach in and get whatever you need now this bag is deep which is a pro and a con if you're a packer like me you are going to fill this bad boy up 
but because of the structure, as you can see, it's a square. So you're essentially going to be stacking stuff on top of each other and you can get everything you need plus extra in this diaper bag. However, if something is on the bottom that you need, you're going to find yourself having to take everything out of the bag to get to whatever is on the bottom of the bag. So that is definitely a con when it comes to ease of use. What I've been doing is things that I know I'm going to reach for like baby wipes, diapers, burping cloth, those type of things. I make sure to keep on top and then things that I'm less likely to reach for. I keep at the bottom like my toddlers change of clothes, things like that. I can keep at the bottom because I may not need those. So you can pack it and prioritize your packing. But again, the structure of how it's a square can be a con for some if you are packers and you're gonna fill this up and having to dig to the bottom every time you need something. So that is basically the ease of use of this bag. So I was able to find a few bags similar to this one and price wise, they range anywhere from 60 to $80. So I think for what you're getting, it is definitely worth the price on this bag. It's definitely worth the price when it comes to the quality, the functionality, and again, the fact that you are getting a sleeper attached to your diaper bag. So I definitely think it is priced perfectly and worth that price. As far as um, being interchangeable from a diaper bag to a mommy bag to a work bag, I think you could do that. I mean, of course you have this bedding on the back. And of course, as the baby grows, you're not gonna need to use that bed anymore. However, I've thought about how can I use this bag in the future? This back pocket can absolutely be used as a computer compartment. So you could take the um, little bedding out, slide your laptop in there and use that as your laptop compartment. If you wanted to use, say the bedding, if you are a big time picnicker or if you go to wineries and things like that, you could absolutely use that little bed as like your table area where you pull it out and put your foods and cheese and crackers and things like that into your little bedding area. So you could continue to use that particular area in the future. So I think that this bag could definitely transition into a mommy bag or a work bag. The inside compartment, you could keep, um, you know, a change of shoes or your workout clothes or anything like that that you may need to carry from work to going to say the gym or things like that. If you're using it for picnics, you could absolutely keep your wine, um, your picnic blanket, your glasses, anything like that in this bag. So I do think that this bag has some interchangeability with it. Now, comfort. Oh my gosh, you guys. The comfort is like the best thing about this bag. 10 out of 10 on comfort. This diaper bag is so comfortable that I find myself reaching for it even when I know I'm not going to be using this little compartment. When I first got it, I thought, oh, this is gonna be a great bag for me to take when we go on our walks, when we go to the zoo, um, when we go to the park, things like that where we're gonna be doing a lot of walking, we might sit and have a snack and I might need to lay the baby down, things like that, you guys know. So I thought this is gonna be my bag to do that. I had currently been using my 12 Little, but because this has the little sleeper on the back, I figured this would be a great bag to use instead. What I quickly learned after carrying this is that this diaper bag is so freaking comfortable that I just want to carry it all the time. I find myself reaching for this more than my 12 little carry tote. And you guys know how fold over tote, you know how much I love that diaper bag. That has been my go-to and favorite diaper bag. But this one just supersedes that when it comes to comfort. These straps are just so plush and thick and then having the mesh on them to make them breathable for in the summer 
I mean, they are just so super comfortable. Having this extra layer of cushion on the back has just made it rest very nicely on my back. And then I think having that bed in here gives it that extra cushion as well. Like that just adds another layer of cushion. And so this diaper bag is just so comfortable. And I have stuffed it to capacity and it just doesn't get heavy. I don't know what they did, how they made that possible, but it just does not get heavy. Like even now it doesn't feel like a heavy diaper bag. I've talked about how my itsy ritzy diaper bag is just heavy by itself. This one, it's, you can feel that it's heavy, but it doesn't feel heavy. It's like, you could tell that it's substantial, but it doesn't feel substantial. I hope that makes sense. And by the way, there's no feet on the bottom of this one. It's just a flat surface. I didn't show you guys the back, the bottom. So the fact that it already doesn't feel heavy empty, and then when you stuff it, and maybe that's the whole square concept because you're stacking, so it makes the weight be evenly distributed. Maybe that has something to do with it. But no matter how much I stuff this thing, it just does not get heavy. It is just super, super comfortable on my back. So comfort, definitely a 10 out of 10. There's no cons in that area. So overall, I think with this diaper bag, I think that this could be a good investment depending on the kind of mom that you are. Of course, this diaper bag doesn't have all the bells and whistles. It's not going to be like your luxury kind of diaper bag like the Lily Jade and the Ella Dane. It's not going to give you that feel. So depending on your lifestyle, what you're doing, this diaper bag could definitely fit. If you are the type of mom that likes to go hiking or go to the park or the zoo or do walks and things like that, a very active mom, and you're looking for a carefree, pretty easy to use, super comfortable diaper bag that can be interchangeable from your walks to you going shopping at the mall, this diaper bag is gonna do it for you. Like you're not worried about it. You're not worried about, you know, if it's raining, you're not worried about setting it on the ground, any of that stuff. You, you're just carefree with this diaper bag. So this is gonna be it for you like this this is it this is a nice diaper bag it's stylish it doesn't look like a diaper bag it just looks like a regular backpack and so it could work if you're the kind of mom that like me likes to have diaper bags based off of what you're doing in your life this one would fit into your life again if you are active or you the type that take your kids to the park and things like that this is going to do that job as well it will become your active life diaper bag so it will fit into your life in that way so I say overall, it's a good diaper bag. I'm gonna give it out of the whole epicness of diaper bags. I would give this one a seven out of 10, definitely. The bed part and the folding it up is what's killing it for me, where it's not a 10 out of 10 or a higher score because I just wish that they made that part easier and more functional and faster for us moms that just need to be able to just go. And so that part kinda is a uh, on the diaper bag. But other than that, this is a great little diaper bag. So again, I will leave, if not this exact one, definitely one very close to it, link below if you are interested and wanna purchase one for yourself. If you have more questions about this diaper bag, feel free to leave those in the comments below. I will do a what fits and how I carry it and what's packed in this diaper bag video very soon for you guys so you can see what that looks like. If you are still here, then you are an MVP. So, you know, here is your trophy. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join my little family. To the rest of my non-traditional family, I love you guys and thanks for hanging in there with me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, hold on, wait, stop, stop, don't go. If you want to see more diaper bag videos, then check out these videos right here to see more reviews on diaper bags and other baby items. I'll meet you guys over there. Let's go, let's go.